Hello folks, Rob Dreemeyer here. Welcome to Broadway Barfly. Today we're making some homemade Bailey's Irish Cream. If you're a theater fan who loves a great cocktail, click that subscribe button because Broadway Barfly is the channel for you. I was looking over the analytics of our YouTube channel and it's pretty clear from the number of views that the videos where we make these homemade liqueurs are some of our most popular. So I have another one for you. Today we're going to be making some homemade Bailey's Irish Cream. Bailey's is a sweet creamy liqueur. It was developed in the early 1970s in Ireland, which makes it a fairly new product as far as liqueurs go. It remains very popular today. You've probably had Bailey's in some form or another. The version that we're making today is a really good copycat recipe that I think you're going to enjoy. I enjoy making these liqueurs myself because one, I know what's going into them, two, I can control the quantity, and in this case, I think it's also economical. Now, I've not crunched the numbers on this, but I do know what a bottle of Bailey's costs, and I know that this can be made with ingredients you probably already have in your cupboards, and if not, certainly things that you can get very easily at the grocery store. So let's take a look at what we'll need. Here are the things we need to make our Irish cream. Irish whiskey, of course, though you could use bourbon if that's what you prefer or that's what you have on hand. But as always, any mid-level, moderately priced brand will work because this is just a foundation for all of these other things. We need some half and half. Now there are all sorts of variations on this recipe and many will call for heavy cream. I prefer to use the half and half because this product does have a pretty long shelf life, but after a while it separates and every time you use it, you have to give it a really good shake to reincorporate it. And I find that over time, the cream just gets a little gloopy. And so I find that the half and half is the better choice. Just my opinion. We need some chocolate syrup, instant coffee. I'm using instant espresso because I think that richer, darker flavor just adds a little something extra. Sweetened condensed milk, vanilla, and almond extract. Now the almond extract I think is the optional ingredient. If you don't have it, you won't miss it, but if you do have it, it just adds one more layer of flavor. I happen to have some almond extract left over from our homemade amaretto. Just before the holidays this year, I made some homemade amaretto and I made a video demonstrating how it's done. So if you haven't already checked that out, I hope you will. And I hope you'll make yourself some homemade amaretto because I know you'll enjoy that as well. So let's put all of this together. I think you'll be surprised at just how fast and easy this is to make, because basically all we do is mix everything together in the blender and that's it. And I'm excited to get the blender out and use it again in a Broadway Barfly video. I've only done that once before, and that was this winter when we made the Jack Frost cocktail. It's a really delicious cocktail, and if you haven't already checked that video out, I hope you will, and I hope you'll make one for yourself. To our blender, we add one and two thirds cup of the whiskey. We add one cup of the half and half. We add two tablespoons of the chocolate syrup. We add one heaping teaspoon of the espresso. We add a teaspoon of the vanilla extract. Actually, this is the almond. And also of the vanilla. And we also add 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. I will confess to you that I'm only using 13 ounces, and I'll tell you why. Over the Easter weekend, I opened a can of condensed milk and used just a little bit of it to make our Cadbury egg cocktail because I needed a little bit of it to make the egg yolk. If you follow us on social media, you, you might remember the picture. It was a really cute cocktail and goodness knows it was really good. If you don't already follow us on social media, I hope you will. I have links to our Facebook and Instagram accounts below. And over there, not only do we post links to our video, but we also post articles about the goings on on Broadway. And we have some special cocktails that we don't necessarily do on video. We do some Saturday night specials and Sunday staycation libations, fun things to get us through the weekend. And that's it. So all we do then is just make sure our lid's on tight <laughs> and blitz this up. <laughs> And 
And that's it. We've just made our homemade Bailey's Irish cream. So what can you do with it? Well, of course you can drink it just like this. It makes a great spike for non-alcoholic beverages. You can add it to coffee, tea, you can make boozy milkshakes with it. A lot of people I know bake with it. I've never made an Irish cream cheesecake, but it sounds pretty good. And of course there are all sorts of cocktails that you can make with it. One of the most famous being the mudslide. Now I'm not going to make a mudslide here. That gets its own video. So keep your eyes open for that. As always, thank you for spending your time with us here at Broadway Barfly. I hope you will make yourself some Irish cream and check out some more videos. If you do make this yourself or anything that we make here on Broadway Barfly, please leave a comment and let us know how it works out for you. So I better get this bottled up before I just drink it all right out of the pitcher. Cheers. If you enjoyed the video, why not give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends? Feel free to leave your comments and click that subscribe button because there's a lot more Broadway Barfly to come.